Monkeys. Hi, it's Devo, and I'm here today in my second home, my other third home, my place of my other place of employment. I'm at the Axiom Inside Skin Kitchen Tattoo in Des Moines, Iowa, where I do the piercing of the bodies five days a week, sometimes six, sometimes seven, depending on what the demand is. Uh, here, this is my this is my sixth blog. Welcome to it. Grab a tasty beverage because it's always important to be keep hydrated, especially when we have these weird seasonal things where it seems like it should be fall, but it isn't yet for some reason or other. Global warming, maybe? I don't know. Let's not talk about that. I had originally planned on doing my vlogs weekly, and then I kind of came across some things that I needed to do. I had to kind of prioritize and get some stuff done and out of the way so I could get back into the, the realm of doing this. Like everyone on the planet, I have a tendency to start projects and get like seven or eight of them going at once and get them all about half done. So last couple weeks, my main focus has been trying to get the new version of the personal website, my personal website, uh, devoaxiom.com in that back to working order. Uh, I took a shortcut when I built it the first time, bought some, uh, some third party uh, theming, and when I did the major update from Drupal, I think 8.1 to 8.2, it crashed. Got the white screen of death, and all those little um, warnings that say, uh, no, 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 this doesn't work. So, um, after messing around with it for a couple hours, they did get it back up and going. The problem was, is that even though it was up and going, I couldn't post to the site. <laughs> so, I couldn't post new blogs, I couldn't post new updates, anything to it. So basically, I rebuilt the entire site. I kind of wanted to keep the theming, which is actually probably a good idea because the theming is now closer to what is going on at axiompiercing.com, my piercing site. So that makes that a lot better. Uh, I could have done migration and just had it automatically transfer in, but I'm one of those people that I've found that the formatting doesn't always work from one site to another, and it's just much more cleaner with less issues <laughs> to just manually cut and paste and move everything into a new site, fresh and clean, and kind of like moving into a new house but with, new, with uh, the same furniture, um, but instead you've steam cleaned everything. Anyway, so uh, kind of want to go into what, I, what my plans are for the future for this. I am going to continue with the live music. We have a couple of bands on this one. Haven't been filming as much as I usually do. Some nights I'm down at the bar, down at Left Ease. There's a great band on stage, and for one reason or another, I just don't feel like, well, filming. <laughs> so I don't. Uh, but I do have two great bands, Beard and & Company and Wood, or Wood Chickens. I keep messing that one up. I don't know why. So we'll get to that here in a little bit. As I envision this thing going as kind of an insight or a look into my daily life or weekly life, so to speak, um, hopefully I, I plan on going to some places around town that maybe most people don't know about around Des Moines, maybe doing some adventures here in the near future with some traveling. I would love to do this on a more regular basis, but time is one of those quantities that I have not a lot of. Um, even taking 20 minutes to do this, and then the other 30 minutes or whatever it's going to take to edit it. Don't really have a lot of that. So, focus will be live music. What's going on in my life? What's important to me? And we'll let it evolve from there. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm at Skin Kitchen Tattoo. I should probably give you a little bit of a tour, a little bit look inside the place. Uh, uh, they just did a renovation of the of the shop and we always have kind of neat knickknacks and so forth like here we go 
Um, let me show you some of the stuff. There's the ring for service. Of course, the needed signs. The new Skin Kitchen logo. And then we move on to the Fire Neon, which is left over from the very first shop that we had over across the street. Of course, you already saw the two Hell Razors, the Penhead, and I don't know that guy's name, and the Monkey. <laughs> and then our new t the new t-shirts they're selling. Um, and a continuation of the Neon in the Flames, the Flaming Neon. And then a lot of artwork done by tattoo artists here at the shop, including Cade and uh, people that have donated art and have been associated with the shop over the years. Kind of giving it more of a gallery look. And of course, we have the coffee skulls, because now they sell coffee and coffee mugs. And then the Hall of Fame. And over here is our little waiting area for our nun candle and so forth. Now, a lot of people don't even remember the name of this place, but for some reason, they always remember this thing, which is the door. <laughs> and what this is, wow, there's a lot of echo in here, <laughs> spoken in here, is it's a dark room door. And the concept behind it was, when we came over here, was to create a situation where people couldn't just wander into the back area without supervision. And this is where the tattoo stations are. It's where all the magic happens. Lots of uh, artwork, and various different things going on here. It's this is Cade's station. That's Josh's station. Jack's new apprentice. And the new guys whose names I can't remember. <laughs> and the empty station. And then this is Matt's station over here. For his life sa life lightsaber collection. And then, of course, Jax is back over here. I'm not quite sure what this painting is all about. I've been trying to figure that one out as I walk by it on a regular basis. Which is over here with his... Uh, most of you are kind of fascinated by this. He does have a few real skulls, including uh, some Tibetan ones. And some other things he's won. Some of the magazine covers and so forth that Jack Lowe's been in. And then the piercing station's back there. So that's a tour of this. So let's move on to music. And first off, let me go through the door again. Here, let's give you a front view. So now it's red. Now it's clear. First off, from Des Moines, Iowa. Beard and company. <laughs> Sorry, turn the monitor back on. It's squealing at me. <laughs> Bear with us while we switch some guitars around here. Got to get that cigar box on there, slide down. <laughs>
in case you wondered what was going on at the beginning of that <laughs> Beard and Company footage, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm one of those people that if I go to a show, if I sit down, I sit down towards the back. I know that there's certain types of music that people think that you should sit down to watch, like orchestrated music. I guess you should. Some jazz. Maybe you should. Opera. Maybe you should. But. Country. Blues. Rock and roll. And all its many forms of glory. Is something that. At least in front of the stage. People should be standing. So I'm standing up and I'm filming the wood chick. Or uh, beard and company. And there's this woman behind me. Who keeps making rude comments the whole time I'm standing there about how she wishes she could see through a door. Um, she wishes I was a window, etc. So I filmed the first song, or she came up and said next to her, and I pointed to the camera to show her that I was recording. And then she came up right before the first song, or the second song started that I recorded, and started berating me about moving. First off, I understand. For health reasons, whatever, maybe you can't stand. That's fine. Stand towards the back, or sit towards the back. Enjoy the music for what it is. Second off, if people dance in front of you, move in front of you, or stand in front of you, do not complain about it. In fact, you should encourage it. Because I know as, a, as somebody who was on that stage a few times, nothing sucks more than two major things. People sitting all the way through your set, and people playing pool while you're playing. That's like the two things that when you look out off the stage and it's like, yep, nobody cares at all. Get up, people. Move a little bit. Get the energy going. Because they'll probably give you a better show. That all said, okay, I'm done preaching. This, from Madison, Wisconsin, is a band that I would describe as cow punk. They have a little bit of psychedelic kind of edge to him. Cow Punk was like one of my favorite things. Uh, I discovered it probably mid to late 80s. It happened in Los Angeles mostly. Uh, produced bands like Blood on the Saddle, uh, Tex on the Horseheads, Screaming Sirens. Even the Vandals did a record that was Cow Punk called Slippery When Ill and then they reissued it as the Vandals do terrible country or something like that. Um, Gun Club could kind of be loped in there, and even though they were more of a blues direction. Also, uh, the Cadillac Tramps. And if you haven't ever heard the Cadillac Tramps, do your favor, do yourself a favor. Don't do me a favor. Do yourself a favor and look them up and listen to them. Actually, any of those bands. I think you're going to be thoroughly impressed. So here they are from Madison, Wisconsin, the Wood Chickens. Three tracks from our LP. Can we hear it once for Beard and Company? Hey! We're going to slow it down for you just a tad bit. This is a gospel tune about Satan.
that song was called Guys in Big Trucks. Yeah. Any of y'all know guys and some guys that have big trucks? Yeah, I know. Don't be off. Hey man, it's Iowa. <laughs> chickens and like i said if you like that style of music you like country you like punk rock or you just like good music check out some of the bands i listed um i'll try to mention them maybe down below or maybe i should do a blog on that here in the near future speaking of blogs i have five of them <laughs> on my per on my website for uh, the axiom body piercing studio I have two there, one that's called the piercing blog, which just covers kind of basic piercing information. Uh, um, it's kind of more, a little bit more free farm. Every piercing beat to death where I just take one individual piercing and just continually give you information on that specific piercing. Um, on my personal site, well, first off, add the, uh, the Axiom site is axiompiercing, one word, dot com. My personal site, which is Davo Axiom, D A V O A X I O M dot com. I have three blogs on there. The first one is my personal blog, which I started back in. Did my first one, I used to call them reports, starting in 1998. If you go back in there, there's some really terrible stuff as far as writing and my concern. Maybe some stuff you really wouldn't be that interested in. Um, it's interesting to me to go back and go, yeah, I wrote that. I really thought that way back then when I was 27. But there's also some uh, history in there as far as the Des Moines music scene, including uh, a really long one about my trip to uh, Vegas with Slipknot. And a lot of other interesting stuff, um, vacations, whatever, and, and craft beer and home brewing and whatever interested me at the time or continues to interest me. I'll write a blog about it. Um, building websites, there's another one of those. Uh, also on the uh, personal site, I have the uh, playlist blog, which I haven't done as many lately, but I used to do a lot of, where I just make a playlist on Spotify and then try to explain why it's important or the music on there is important or how it goes together or what's cool about it. And then I have the At The Show blog, which is more of kind of a insider's look at live music in the music industry. 
I try to give some advice. Sometimes I just do reviews of what shows I've seen recently, uh, maybe give a heads up to bands that I like, what have you. So you should check those out. Other than that, we're at the end of the blog, or the vlog. I don't know why I say blog. Vog, blogs, logs, cog, somewhere in there I'll get it right. So, now that you've seen it, subscribe by clicking up above. You might want to check out the playlist because there's a lot of, uh, there's five more of them at this point on there that you might find interesting. Um, if you'd like to check out my personal site, click down here. If you'd like to check out my other channel, which I just started for the Axiom, that's solely on piercing, click up here. Other than that, you have a good day and go out and have some fun already.